A new potential deal to tell you about this morning. Xerox is said to be considering a bid for computer and printer maker HP. HP is about three times as large as Xerox in terms of market capitalization. The Wall Street Journal had the exclusive story and is joining us right now. The reporter behind that scoop is the journal's Cara Lombardo. And Cara, thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. Kind of weird to think of these two companies uh, grasping on and, 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 and combining. What's, what's the logic behind it? Yeah, size-wise, I think the idea catches everyone by surprise. The, the logic is that both of these companies are kind of at a turning point. Obviously, printed documents, we all use a lot fewer of them. Printers in general, printer sales is not a, a, a fast-growing industry. They're both in cost-cutting mode. The idea is that by combining, they could cut even more costs, boosting their profit margins, and you know, be stronger together. Also, they're in slightly different industries. So they both make printers, but obviously Xerox is known more for their larger copy machines, the ones that we have in our offices, whereas HP is probably more well known for their small printers, the type we have at home, as well as a huge PC business. So they could also combine forces in terms of diversification. Does it make sense to you when you hear about two companies that are both obviously in cost-cutting modes, both in a little bit of a panic kind of getting together? Does that uh, play out, you think? I mean, that's the type of deal that we tend to see in these types of industries where revenue is not quickly growing. And so bankers have long suspected that, you know, we may see a printer company merger. What, did they suspect it was going to be Xerox making an offer for HP? Probably not. Is there any reason to think that the Justice Department would step in and say, okay, too much overlap here or anything along those lines? Or when you're in a business, in an industry that's in trouble, is that kind of glossed over? It's certainly a valid question. Um, I mean, the fact that Xerox has apparently, as we said in the story, found a, a, a bank to say that they think they have, um, th that they have full confidence they could raise the necessary funding for this bid and that Xerox has thought through the rationale of the bid, it, it leads me to believe they've thought through the antitrust reasons and, and they see the fact that, the, one, the declining uh, sales, and then two, the fact that they are in slightly different parts of the industry could be uh, working in their favor there. Immediate knee-jerk reaction is HP shares up by about 8.5%, Xerox shares down by over 3.5%. That makes sense, too? I mean, obviously, the market's looking at this and saying, yeah, okay, there's something really happening here. Yeah, I think, I think that's uh, the market saying that this could make a little sense. I mean, HP and Xerox are two companies in a very different spot right now. Xerox, as we know, has already been in cost-cutting mode very aggressively. They just posted better-than-expected earnings last week. They announced a deal to sell um, their joint venture which, with Fujifilm Fuji. just yesterday. So, so their, their stock is up about 84% so far this year before today. How do they get to be the acquiring company when they're so much smaller? That's, they're coming from a position of relative strength at the moment. Their, tra their stock is more richly valued. Whether that ends up to be the deal that we see is still to be seen, I think.